Okay, so iOS 6, you know, came out Thursday uh, last week, and you know, a lot of people aren't satisfied with you know the maps, and it's just, you know, I think the maps are all right. You know, there is you know some problems with it, but I think that it was a good idea to you know, scratch Google and you know put their own maps, which by the way I think are a lot better, looking out nicer and everything. Uh, I do want to you know talk a little bit about the new functions of Siri in iOS 6. Siri is now out of the beta. It is now fully like functioning and it works very well. So I'll go over some of the cool things you can do with Siri. Um, you know, if you haven't seen them already. Uh, so let's start. Now, uh, if you don't know how to access Siri, well, this is how you access Siri. Uh, you're gonna hold down the home button and then she'll pop up or you can put it to your ear and you know, she'll pop up in your ear and you can talk to her show her you know, all that stuff so you're gonna hold down the home button and Siri what can you do and you can also click that little info icon right there you can ask things like and she'll tell you what you can ask so like you can call someone obviously uh, what they didn't have before in iOS 5 was launching apps like the capability to launch, uh, let's say, the App Store. I could say, launch App Store. And there it is, the App Store is open. So, what can you do? So, Siri does a lot of. Uh, you can ask things like. Alright. Siri does a lot of cool things. Uh, you can. We could do this before, which is send text messages. Now set up a meeting, and now we can ask it sports questions. Uh, like the example here is, did the Giants win? So um, let's ask, did the Giants win? The Giants were downed by the Padres yesterday. The final score was six to four. So see how it gives you this really, really nice, uh, you know, scoreboard and it gives you just everything and there's other voice assistants out there that don't give you this nice simple uh, visual and just you know tells you the score and it's very nice to see it like this and it's very fast uh, so we can also do a Siri let's see you can see give me directions so she can give you directions you can ask her where you are and cool things like that um, you can also you know tweet from here, you can tweet your location. You can be like, uh, Siri, write a tweet. Okay. What would you like to say? Nothing. Okay. But she'll listen and she'll write the tweet and you can send it up right to Twitter. And then we have, after Twitter, you can also do the same thing with Facebook. You can say, post to Facebook, and she'll be like, what would you like to post to Facebook? And you tell her. And then restaurants. This is a cool update. So let's say you're out with your friends or whatever, and you want to, um, you know, go to a restaurant. And then let's say you have four friends, including yourself, and you feel like sushi. And it's like six o'clock, and you want for six thirty. So you could ask Siri like that specific detail. It could be like, Siri, find me a sushi restaurant for four people around six thirty. restaurants have tables for four around 6 30 p.m. tomorrow and Tap the one you'd like to reserve so listed in a nice menu kind of way and the prices and the distance and what time and it's all uh, set up with open table uh, which is an app you can download for free off the app store so let's say I want to go to this one all right and it has this nice setup and it has times for 6 15 6 30 6 45 I can make the reservation. It, this is all in Siri. It shows me the map and the direction. So it's very nice, um, very nice addition to Siri. Let's see what else you can do. You can ask her what movies are playing. So you can just say, you can do with movies. You can say like, like who directed a film, or find, uh, I don't know, find. Disney movies is the example. Uh, what comedies are playing? 
So you can ask it, like, who starred in what movie, you know? So all these cool questions, like, you could say, um, alright, uh, I, w I want to see the new Pixar movie. She'll find you showtimes for this new Pixar Here's movie. Brave. And it pulls up this really cool thing. Details, you know, Rotten Tomato, Runtime, PG, all that stuff, director, starring, all that stuff, and you can, you know, watch the trailer straight from here. So that's the movie's capability. Then, we have the, you know, it's also available on iOS 5, where you can play music, pause music, skip, shuffle, all that cool stuff. Um, and you can, like, do reminders, like, remind me to call mom, as the example. You can say, remind me in 30 days to uh, feed the dogs. You haven't fed the dogs in 30 days, so I think you've got some problems there. But um, you can send an email, and you can reply to emails. You can ask what the weather is. Uh, what's the weather going to be like tomorrow? Should I wear a jacket or not? The low will be 61 degrees. And show you this little nice weather thing. Just it's very fast, and I know I'm on Wi-Fi, but even on you know 4G, so iPhone 4S, it's you know very fast. All right, so almost done here. We can ask stock questions like, what's what's Apple stock? So let's see what Apple stock is today. What is Apple stock today? Apple closed at $690.79 today, down $9.30, or 1.33%. Thank you, Siri. And so she gives you all that info, and she already spoke it to you, and shows you it's like the little graph and everything like that. It's not so, like cool things. Um, you also can, uh, you know, set timers, which is really cool. You can say, show me my alarms. And you know she'll pull up all your alarms. Here are your alarms. All my alarms. I got like insane amount of alarms. It's I don't even wake up, which is very very bad. All right. Um, you can search the web, but that's not one of my favorite ones. I like when Siri gives me the answer. Um, you can take notes and you can like look up contacts and stuff. My favorite one is you know if you have your friends, you can do um you know it's Apple's find my friends app and you can find your friends so I have it set up with my mom and dad so I can you know know where my mom and dad is vice versa they can know where I am um I can always turn off that feature um but so you can say like where's dad I don't understand where's dad not that but I can search the web don't search the web there you go I'm still checking Dad's whereabouts. And it'll find it, and it'll show me, and I'll be like, alright, cool, see, like, right there, which is really awesome. And the last thing is, like, you can, I don't know, I use Siri for, you know, some math questions, uh, you know, some complex math questions, she'll do them, and she'll show you how she did them, like, a graph, she'll show you the graph and everything. Um, but, like, if we want to do, like, you know, uh, a simple one like what? All right, we'll do like what's pi times three divided by two? Checking my sources, I found this. And so she did that. I'm sorry about this horrible like graphic thing. Um, but you know she did decimal approximation. She showed you the exact result. Uh, you know, she did conversion from radians to degrees. All these little things that don't matter, but it's all there. It's it's very nice. Uh, number it shows you where it is on the number line, and it's all from Wolfram Alpha, which is really great. And oh, one more thing about the sports is, uh, you know, you can ask it like about certain players. So like Kobe Bryant, for instance, you could say like how tall is Kobe Bryant, or you can compare Kobe Bryant to um, Dwight Howard. So we say. Who's better, Dwight Howard or Kobe Bryant? One moment. Okay, here are Dwight Howard and Kobe Bryant. And 
there you go. She pulls up their player cards with everything. You can ask between different sports. You can say who's taller, Kobe Bryant or Reggie Bush, or anything like that. She pull up their cards, and it's just really amazing. So those are uh, the new features with Siri, and uh, I hope you liked that video, and I will be making some more soon.